Have you ever looked up at the night sky and seen that bright reddish star in Orion's shoulder? That's Betelgeuse, and it's not just any star. It's huge, it's unstable, and one day, it's going to explode in one of the most powerful events the universe has to offer, a supernova. But here's the wild part. That explosion could happen any time, tonight, next year, or in a hundred thousand years. And recently, Betelgeuse did something weird, something that got astronomers around the world paying very, very close attention. Let's talk about it. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, a massive star that's reaching the final stages of its life. To give you an idea of how massive, if you replaced our Sun with Betelgeuse, its surface would stretch past the orbit of Jupiter. It's about 764 times wider than the Sun and more than 10 times its mass. It's also relatively young, only about 10 million years old, but massive stars burn out much faster than smaller ones like the Sun and Betelgeuse is running out of fuel. Now, stars don't go supernova silently. They give off clues. And in late 2019, Betelgeuse gave us a big one. It started to dim, like a lot. Astronomers noticed it had dropped to about a third of its usual brightness, and it stayed that way for weeks. People around the world started to wonder, was this it? Was Betelgeuse about to explode? Astronomers got to work. Telescopes from Earth and space focused on Betelgeuse. Hubble and ALMA, the very large telescope, everyone wanted a closer look. And the answer? Nope, not a supernova. Not yet. Instead, scientists discovered that Betelgeuse had experienced a massive surface eruption. Think of it like a solar flare, but on a much larger scale. It threw off a huge cloud of gas and dust, and that dust just happened to drift in front of the star blocking our view and making it look dimmer from Earth. They called it the Great Dimming. This was a game changer. It was the first time we'd ever seen a red supergiant do something like this. Not only did it confirm that Betelgeuse is active and unstable, it also gave us a rare close-up look at how massive stars die. It's like we caught the star in the middle of a cosmic sneeze. And here's something you might not know. That dust cloud? It was 400 million kilometers wide, bigger than the distance between the Sun and Mars. That's how big Betelgeuse's burps are. Since then, astronomers have been watching Betelgeuse very closely. They've learned that it rotates faster than expected, which is strange for a star this size. Some believe it might have swallowed a smaller star long ago, which sped up its spin. And deep inside, its layers are slowly fusing heavier and heavier elements, the final stages before a core collapse. When that happens, we'll be a massive supernova. Quick reminder, if you're loving these kinds of deep space stories, take a second to subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot and lets us keep bringing the cosmos to your screen. Now, back to Betelgeuse. So when will it explode? The honest answer? We don't know. It could be tomorrow. It could be 50,000 years from now. Astronomically speaking, that's basically the same thing. But when it does go supernova, here's what we do know. It will shine as bright as the full moon, possibly even visible in the daytime. It won't be dangerous. It's too far away to harm Earth. It'll be one of the most spectacular events humans have ever witnessed in the sky. Seriously it might be the biggest cosmic show in our lifetime. For now, Betelgeuse is still hanging in there, glowing, pulsing, and keeping its secrets. But it's a reminder that the universe is alive, constantly changing. And sometimes, the stars we think we know best still have surprises waiting for us. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment below. Do you think Betelgeuse will explode in our lifetime? Until next time, keep looking up.